In this video, we're going to be going over a package called the Laravel installer. And what this package allows us to do is it allows us to go through an install process of a Laravel application. So let's say that you built an application in Laravel and you want to ship it off to your client and they need to upload the files and they kind of need to know how to install a Laravel app. So instead, you could include this package and they could go through this installer step by step. And it's kind of like if they were to set up a WordPress install, they have an installer that they can click on next and add the database credentials. And uh, it just makes it a lot easier for shipping off in a Laravel app to somebody who then needs to install it on their server. So what we have in front of us is the welcome page for the installer. And as you can see, we can, can continue through the setup wizard and we can click next step. And then we have here where we can add our database credentials and I've already added that. So I will just click on next. Then it checks that we have all of the correct PHP functions on our server, and we do. So we see green check marks next to each one of those. Then we can click on next step and it will check the folder permissions. So that way we can be able to write to these folders. So it checks that we have the correct folder permissions. And then we can click on next step. And finally, we will see that application has been successfully installed and they click here to exit and it's gonna take them just to the main homepage. But this installer will seed all of your database, uh, add all of your database tables. It will check for PHP functions and it will also check for the folder permissions. So uh, let's go ahead and learn how to install this package and get it set up on a Laravel app. Okay, so first things first, we need to create our new Laravel application. So I will just say Laravel new and I'll just call this project installer. Okay, and as soon as that is completed, then we can go ahead and go into our new folder and we can run php artisan serve. And we'll go ahead and go to localhost 8000, just that way we can confirm that our Laravel app is running. And sure enough, it is. So let's go back and cancel this server. And let's go to the Laravel installer GitHub page. So if you go to this web page, which I will include a link below the video, you can see that it has instructions on how to install this package. So we need to include in our composer.json this require right here. So I will go ahead and vim into composer.json and I will add this in the require section. So I will add it right there and it will write and quit the file. Then if I go back to the page, it says that we need to then run composer update. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and after we've included the package, then we will also need to add it to our application providers. So you can see here that we need to copy this and we will open up our project and I'm gonna open it up in Sublime Text and then I can go to app, actually I will go to config and app.php. And if I go down here to our providers, I will need to include this in the array. So I can go ahead and just paste that in there. And if I go back to the project page, you can see that there's one last step and we need to publish the settings file. So PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. So we will copy this and we will open that up in our terminal window and we will run that last command. And one more thing to note is I have added a new database here just called installer. So this is the database essentially that we're going to use for the installer. So after we've got that all set up, let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan Serve and let's go back into our Chrome window and let's go to localhost 8000 slash install. And you'll see that we have the installer right in front of us. So we can go ahead and click on next step. And then you see here that we have our .env file. So we will need to change our database credentials. So I will say that the database name is installer and my username and password is just root. So I will go ahead and click on save.env and then I will click on next step and it's going to check that I have all of the PHP functions enabled on my server, and I do, so that I can go ahead and click on Next Step. And you can see here that we have red X's next to the folder permissions because we don't have folder permissions set up. So this would be something that you know your client might be like, oh, why isn't it working? And that's because the folder permissions were not set up correctly, but if they run through this installer, they can then be notified that way. But you could always change the folder permissions before shipping it off to them. So let's go ahead and change those permissions now. So we need the chmod 775, the storage directory. And we also need to do that to the bootstrap directory. So let's do that and run back here. Let's just reload the page. 
Let's reload that after we do PHP artisan serve. So let's reload that and you can see that we have green check marks all across. So then we click on next step and then we get the application has been successfully installed. So now you have a happy client. Uh, they've installed the Laravel app on their server. They then click here to exit and then they have the Laravel app in front of them. And if we go back here to the database and I refresh, you can see that we have the users and the password resets table. And these are migrations that automatically ship with Laravel. So that's why we're seeing it in our database now. So this is an excellent package. I would definitely recommend checking it out. And um, yeah, if you have any questions or any feedback, you can always feel free to either open up an issue here, uh, contact the provider of the package, uh, or you can leave it below the video and I'll see what I can do to help you out. So I hope that you will use this in future projects. I know that I definitely will. And I will see you guys next time.